the tale of the tape. Young Lion versus Old Lion. 22 years old is Jesse Rodriguez. SSR is 35. Rodriguez will have a long reach advantage, four inches longer than Rungbasai. So Rungbasai much more flat-footed, but Sergio, that's where his power comes from. He can sit down on those punches. That's where his power comes from, but he's gonna have to be more fluid with his footwork because he's not gonna be able to keep up with this young champion that moves from angle and shit from side to side. I'll be honest, Sergio, talking to Sir Rungbasai this week, I don't get the sense that he's looking or thinks he's going to win a decision. He knows he could be down quickly in this fight, but he believes if he can slow Bam down and force it into a fight, that's how he can win. Shut jab right there. Snapping the head back of Sarung this I, I love the fact that Ben Rodriguez is coming out respecting the power of Sarung this Left hand got in there for SSR. Hard jab there by Ben Rodriguez. Oh, big straight left followed it by a jab. Good sequence there for Rodriguez, and that forces Rung to go forward. Terrific right hand by Ben Rodriguez there. Took, uh, almost took his arms off his feet. It was a check right hook, and it started by baiting him with feints. Foot feints as we're making some room to fight. Bang. Run beside would love to bait Rodriguez into a stand and trade type of scenario. And the crowd will certainly be urging Rodriguez to do that, Chris, but how foolish would that be? Well, look, Jesse has to stay disciplined. He got great advice from his corner in between rounds. This movement has got to keep up over 12. He's probably not going to be able to stop so long beside, and he doesn't want to get into a firefight with him. I think the experience of the Carlos Quadras fight is going to serve him right right here, because with Quadras, he did stay a little bit too long and exchange, but he learned from that, and you can bet he's not to do it here with Sarung Vassal. Well, I completely agree, Sergio. Two things he learned from that Quadras fight. One, going 12 rounds for the first time in a championship level fight. And two, not standing in front and not trying to trade. He knows in the after the Quadras fight that his punches, the ones that were stopping guys at 108 and above, they just aren't going to be as effective at 115. Nice body shot. Almost lulled Sarung Vassal to sleep there. And, and Sarung Vassal already wanted a clean left hand. Rodriguez took that well. It was a straight left hand. Whenever you're dealing with a young fighter or a young champion, you want to see how he's going to react when he gets clipped by a big power punch. So Rungasai has slow speed and bad balance. You gotta make him miss and you gotta make him pay. Anytime he's touching anything, he's dangerous. Beautiful angle right there. One, two from the left hand of stance and catches an angle on Sarungasai. Nice uppercut from Bam. So he's got to think defense first. He has to think defense first and second. Anytime you're punching, something else is going to come back. So on the side, he's an expert at punching in, in between the shots. I love the way Bam Rodriguez keeps stepping over. He's having a lot of success with the overhand lefts when he steps over. Shotgun jab there by Bam. Well, we know that Rodriguez is a big fan of Lomachenko. Loves the angles. Talk about Bernard Hopkins losing his first professional fight. He went on to have a Hall of Fame career. So Rungbasai didn't win a fight until his fourth fight. And look at the career he's had. Not only that, he got stopped back to back in his first and second professional fight to come back and become a two-time champion is incredible. I want to see more jabs like that from Ben Rodriguez. You gotta get out of these early rounds where Sarungasai is so powerful. Pop him with that jab, keep 
keep moving at angles, just like that. from Rodriguez. And some of those jabs, Sergio, as you mentioned before, are defensive jabs. They're to knock Soranga's eye off his timing. They're defensive jabs and they're power jabs. Look at that pretty oh, though. Yeah. The glove almost touched. This is beautiful power boxing right here. Bam Rodriguez is playing chess. Picking you apart with that jab, stepping back and catching with the power counter shots. The game plan has been executed to perfection so far for Jesse. But it's a long, long way to go for Bam Rodriguez. Or is it? Can Rodriguez blast him out of there? I'll tell you what, Jesse Rodriguez grew up watching these super fly fights between Sol Rungasai, Chocolatito, Estrada, Quadris, Brian Valeria. He watched all these great fights. Some of them he watched in person. So it really is a dream come true for him to share the ring with these legends. Let's look at Chris Mannix's scorecard through six rounds. Yeah, I've got it six rounds to none in favor of Bam Rodriguez. And quite frankly, none of these rounds have been that difficult to score. Bam is dominating with his skill from the outside and against the heavier handed fighter, at least theoretically, he is landing the bigger shots. And he's hurting. He's hurting so long with side to the body now, which is opening up the right hooks upstairs. Just like that. Are we seeing out with the old and in with the new? A left hand sends Ron Masaya It was an overhand left that caught him at an angle. Right on the temple. Hey, give me a button. So give me one of the fights said that he slipped. That was a punch. What a statement it would make for Jesse Rodriguez to stop Teresa Castro Ron Masaya. He's outpowering the powerful. Don't get carried away. Don't get overconfident. Go He put Carlos Quadras down, and he's put Sarissa Katso rung beside down. A little surprised that we haven't seen more of a body attack from Sor Rungbasai. He knew what? Jesse was going to move around. He's got to find a way to slow him down, keep him in front of him for these later rounds. And I'll tell you what, guys, I don't like the body language of Sor Rungbasai, how slow he's punching, and how hard Bam Rodriguez is landing these shots. So Rungbasai told us in the fighter meeting, stand in front of me if you dare. Well, Rodriguez has dared, and he's put Rungbasai down once already. And Bam Rodriguez also said that he believes he can stop the tough fighter from Thailand. Big straight left from Bam, caught him on the right as well. And you can just sense the confidence oozing out of Rodriguez as he cracks him again. Upstairs, downstairs, look at him go. Mark Cowboy, the referee, taking a long and so wrong beside during these exchanges. Bam is beating up. So wrong beside. Beating him up and backing him up. It's only a matter of time, guys. I'm telling you, I don't like the body language of So beside. He has no legs. Oh, So wrong beside. It's ready to go.